Dr. Sandra Lee is one of America's top dermatologists and, of course, known for her hit TLC series, Dr. Pimple Popper. The latest <laughs> season airing now showcases some of the most outrageous skin conditions and personal cases yet. She joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Now, in this season, we hear that you bring in some specialists to help you. Is there a particularly complicated procedure this season that we should be looking out for? Well, there was one who just, that we just, um, we actually aired it this last couple weeks. We've been on for two weeks already um, yeah. with our season. And uh, it was a, a gentleman with a really large um, growth on the back of his neck. It's called acne chelodalis nuke. And it's, it's just so large that the issue is, is in removal in this area. There's a lot of issues in this area, but the re removal, it, it's so big that you can't, close that side to side. Can you imagine if you have something so large here that you want to sew it? I mean, how could you even lower your head, right? Because you have to sew it together side to side. So really I brought in a scalp surgeon expert, a dermatologist who specializes in scalp surgeries. And uh, that was really nice uh, to be able to ha get his help because without him, I don't think we would have been able to successfully remove this. And he looks fantastic. We're talking about Reggie. He looks so good. And um, it was his, his wife was really his champion. I mean, she fought for him. She they have been looking for doctors to help for years, and uh, so she not you know she essentially knocked down my door. She she contacted me, and I saw him, and I thought you know this is really beyond me. Uh, this is not something that I do on a regular basis, but I think I know the perfect person for you. So we got Dr. Umar on board, which was really wonderful. So what would you say is the biggest lipoma you've ever removed? Uh, I think we had one that was bigger than the average baby. I, I want to say it was 11 pounds or something, or maybe even higher than that. Uh, we, you know, I would have to say the growths that can occur, that can grow the largest are lipomas because they don't, they're not contained really in a sac. So they can't pop or burst. I think that a, a cyst, for example, which is just like a, a kind of a balloon under the skin that fills with just dead skin cells, essentially, that can at some point, I would think it grow to such a large size that it could, you know, just disintegrate or just kind of cause a lot of problems, lead to like a, 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 a really you know, painful situation for the patient because if they could get an abscess, what we call an abscess. But a lipoma is really a benign collection of fat cells under the skin. And it's just, it's almost like this little fat utopia. It's like these fat cells that grow and just want to stay with their own people. And it just grows sometimes in some people it just grows and grows and can get out of control. But in that way, that does not really pop or, or, um, or burst in any way. All right, a little insight here. How are the patients we see on the show chosen? Are they truly people who come to your practice or are they vetted for the show? Oh, it's a mix of both. I mean, we certainly have patients that come into my office that uh, we, we uh, you know, we ask them if they would be interested in being a part of the show. And uh, also though, there's a uh, casting. There are certainly people that are out there searching for um, people for the show. And I even have fellow dermatologists that recommend um, patients for the show as well. So um, we cast a pretty wide net. I mean, we've had people from other countries, certainly from Canada, from the Philippines um, that have come to see us. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I think that it's just, it, it's, you get them really, you get people from everywhere. And I think that the more that the show is on, uh, the more people hear about us, certainly the more people are interested in um, that maybe seek out our help. So. so how has the pandemic affected you seeing your clients and also filming? I mean, it's affected it in, in all the ways that it's affected most of us who are, you know, working out there and working in, up close with other people, with strangers, you know, people that are not in your little home unit. And, uh, you know, there was a time where we were closed. There's certainly a time where um, we, we came, we're still not back to the same um, degree as we were in the past because we still have a lot of precautions in our office. Um, 
And, uh, and uh, it definitely affected the way we were able to film the show. We had a Zoom season last year and it wasn't quite the same, you know? And I think still now it's not quite the same. It was really important for me to have this sort of outdoor um, greeting place with my, with my patients so that I could feel like everybody was as safe as we can be, but I could take off my mask and talk to people. That's the one thing that makes it, the one major thing that makes it very difficult to connect with my patients and we all feel that way. I mean, I know all of us that talk to somebody maybe in the supermarket or ask for help, you know, somewhere seeing somebody that is a stranger, it's very hard to connect with them and really see their emotions and really be able to relate to them if you have, if you can only see their eyes. Dr. Sandra Lee, thank you for being with us. We cannot wait to keep watching. Now, Dr. Pimple Popper airs Mondays on TLC.